on. Welcome to another episode of <laughs> Two Ales and Hockey Tales with Wally. I'll be your host today, Mac Truth. And with us today, we got two shed legends. One is your usual host, but we'll start off with introducing the other guy. He's a Downers Grove native, 34 years old, GP pad holder, UK gold medalist, plays defense forward. We're working on getting up a goalie thing. This guy's played in some places. This took the research team a while to write down. Netherlands, Nottingham, Rock Vegas in the A, Indy Fuel, Nottingham again, <laughs> turning for a stint, Cardiff, <laughs> then he goes to Gap, then he goes to Freiburg, Sheffield for the last two years, and we have a new announcement? Uh, no new announcement. No, no new announcement. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no new Evan Mosey, everybody, long time guest of the podcast. Thank and you, now, thank you, thank you. To the legend himself, yeah, thirty nine <laughs> years gonna... old from Georgetown, <laughs> Ontario, Canada, five nine, one hundred eighty five pounds. Question mark? We don't <laughs> Might know. be exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> Danish league, Boon League champ, Pokal Cup champ. Started his career off in Syracuse, then went on to the Dayton Bombers. Tore it up in Landshut. Was in Beedingheim before he was kindly asked to leave for four years. <laughs> then he went to Hellbron, Sonderiski for a year. Tore it up as a Danish league. Was kindly asked to leave, as we're told. Part of Devils for two years. Became a legend in the UK. And then was finished it off with to, the Ripley Wolves. <laughs> was told not to leave Cardiff. Was told not, not to leave Cardiff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could find yeah, a research me. team. Research team came up. His career high point, sixty nine. <laughs> what number? And is now a podcast host. Wally, thank you so kindly for letting me host this and getting to the <laughs> down and dirty <laughs> of Batchy's testimonial. Yes, um, I. Uh, it was a tiring weekend there, and uh, you know I haven't had much time for the shed. And uh, when you reached out and said you wanted to hear all about the testimonial <laughs> and that you were going to host and I didn't have to do anything to get ready, I'm all in. Because <laughs> <laughs> Wally, Wally is still recuperating. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a tough week. <laughs> Chippy, Chippy Lane has never been dealt with so fast and aggressively after <laughs> Wally was down there. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was a weekend. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, was... yeah, that's why I'm hosting. Um, how, obviously, congrats to Batchy and Cash on a baby boy. Um, yeah. That was, name that, honestly, that? that was pretty cool, though. At the end of his testimonial, when uh, they they put a exploding puck at center ice and uh, they had, like, what do you call them? Like, not flares, but they shoot stuff in the air, confetti things. And then as soon as he shot the puck, the confetti went in the air and it was all blue. And then him and Tash had a big hug and a kiss at center ice. It was a magical moment. Seriously. Love it. Any, uh, any bets going on previously to that on what was going down boy or girl? Um, I, I said, boy, I said hundred percent boy. Cause Tash, Tash, I think wanted a boy, but she's like a dude anyways, where I think she get she'd get along with a boy better. She, well, um, <laughs> they, they were on the pod together, the first shed couple. And I have no doubt they'll be raising a little shed guy. So that's pretty cool. Shed family's growing again. Eh? It's funny seeing it all of the shed guys grow up and like how many pregnant gals there were there this weekend, uh, like bouncy and, uh, I don't want to miss anybody, but there's like, and then Mac, you're having one. There's a lot of shed guys getting yeah, ready to the be. Family, the, the shed family's the growing. The couples were getting after it this year. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Mac, so give, us did, tour, uh, give us a tour of the J Moose locker room while oh, yeah, you're in sorry. there. Cause this is a state of the art <laughs> load up ability for a men's league team. All right. Look at this place. Wally, so here we go. You walk in the room here. I'll, let you, I'll go through the front door here. This so, is for like senior hockey because I can see what's this going is senior on. Here. This is wild. Yeah, there's the old moose. That's the uh, that's the mascot. 
So you walk in here. That's knuckles. Beer fridge, usually full of beer. They're sponsored by uh, Budweiser, but they think they're going Coors now. Um, and then my dad usually sends the guys on a trip uh, every year. They go to Arizona for the waste management. Really? That sounds like it's fun. Yeah. It's absolutely That's all the boys in the picture one, there. Um, and then the, the infamous big screen TV that my dad usually throws a stick through every year when he's upset with the boys. <laughs> There it is. Oh, does Brand he have, does he get a bit competitive like yourself? <laughs> I hear oh, jeans are a yeah. thing. <laughs> Look, Look at, at that place. room. Are you serious? At, it's set up for the season, and we're we're in we're in June. Yeah. So this is uh this is Bob's baby right now. His new jerseys he just designed. It's uh, a play off the Capitals third jerseys, but with oh, the W turned around. We'll go to we'll go to Cap New Persuasion. Speak, Jay Moose. Look at these bad boys. 2026. Look at that jersey. Nice looking there. No moose on it, eh? No, is there is there like they have like six jerseys they run throughout the year. This is only just the new one they got. Well, you know what I've learned? Yeah. It's going through six jerseys is a good idea because you could make some money out of jersey raffle, eh, Evan? <laughs> <laughs> what was the high there? Lordos went for at least a grand, a thousand. Well, all pounds. these years went for like eight hundred, didn't it, or five hundred? No. Or so you know what? You know what Todd made me do, Mac. So I got okay. upstairs uh, while they're doing the auction, and he was doing my jersey. So I went up on stage to stand with it, and uh, yep. he says, "Wally, will you take your top off if we get to three fifty? <laughs> and uh, I'm like, well, I guess if you're asking me, like, I'm not going to say no, right? I know I don't really got it anymore, but, you know, I'll take my top off. And then, sure enough, a guy <laughs> yells 350 right off the hop, and I had to take my shirt off. And then <laughs> Lions, I think he'd had a couple, comes over and sharpies my chest and signs his name on my chest while I'm standing there on stage. <laughs> to be honest, you didn't know that was Dana bet 350 on that she's been she was betting hard on jerseys she was betting hard on jerseys this weekend <laughs> yeah i did meet mosey's uh significant other too finally when she's not at the yeah. pub <laughs> when she's not at the pub alone <laughs> but yeah like well, my you... so shout out to the shed family though we did that raffle um for batchy's testimonial jersey with my name and number on it that raffle made 580 pounds and then my jersey at the auction went for 510 so <laughs> Cheers, Batchy. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Batchy. <laughs> uh, so was... jo Joey Haddad's went for over nine hundred. That guy. I tell you, so people Lord, Lord, just get Lord wound. Yeah, but I think people Lord, get I think wound Lord in those jerseys, winner, yeah. man. So the same guy bought mine the last two testimonials. Callum Phillips, shout out to you, buddy. You're an animal. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting all the pounds from, but uh, yeah. cheers for supporting the shed and my jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> That was your that was your third testimonial. Uh that was the second one I've got right. to go to, but uh I was invited to Richie's and couldn't make it back then when I was first, you know. Both of those testimonials while it was dead on the ground on Queen Period. I thought we were losing Wally. I All thought right. the shed was gonna be a distant memory. We gotta we gotta come back to that one. <laughs> we gotta come back to that one. We gotta start with uh the dinner night before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do we even do <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, I'll let you well, tell a story while you can go whatever way you want. I know you're a coach now, so I'll let you yeah. pick your P's and Q's. Here. Uh, so, so, um, well, you know, when you're only there for a few days, you may as well stay on Canada time. Right. Cause jet lag can really mess you up. So, um, <laughs> we got into a healthy habit of waking up around the noon, <laughs> me and Hoth and, uh, <clears throat> the boys, so then uh, the first night we went to Flight Club, it's called, with Shed Guy Solly running um, security there. And it's a sweet place, by the way. Um, and then uh, we stayed up pretty late, hit Chippy Lane hard. And then the next day when we woke up, it was really sunny out. And uh, we, we had a poll in our group chat, whether we were going out oyster catching or the bay. We chose the bay. And then... Uh, Started out at the docks, then hit Witherspoons, and boy, are drinks cheap at Witherspoons. So it was sunny. <laughs> Things got, uh, well, you know, we went until dinner. I, I didn't know. We didn't take a break. We went straight into the dinner, rolled right there, and uh, the boys had had a lot of fun. And I think everybody was in a great mood and uh, had a great time with the fans at the dinner, right? <laughs> yeah. 
the dinner <laughs> the dinner was uh so mosey rolled in sober when all of us have been out all after oh, yeah so i came <laughs> i came in i came in late like that friday and i rolled in and the boys were just picked wally i think do we we met and i don't think wally remember one conversation we had that <laughs> night oh don't be pointing fingers mosey you should have been there <laughs> I should have, but we came late. But yeah, Wally, all the boys, Mac, I came into it and the boys were just pickled. <laughs> I think the fans got their money's worth that night. <laughs> yeah. They really like, got to know us. Stories the whole time? What? Like What's up? Go up and tell stories about Batchy and stuff. Is that what I got out of that? No, no, no. It was just like the draft where the guys drafted their team oh, okay. and then... It was very, it was very informal. Things. Everybody just kind of mingled and uh, shot the shit. Yeah. And then, uh, then there was a buffet style where you went and sat at wherever you wanted. And uh, I don't know. Um, so, you know, a guy told me, uh, Batchy's uncle actually told me <laughs> that I was a hoot at dinner. And I said, really? Or was I embarrassing? And he said, no, you were hilarious. And I said, you sure it wasn't embarrassing? And he said, no, it no. was awesome. And I said, <laughs> so great, great to hear. So I, we, no. I did have a good table for dinner. <laughs> so Batchy's uncle confirmed shed guy boosting the confidence. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. He was right. out all weekend. He was even at Rev to Cuba to <laughs> top it all off. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. He was at Rev to Cuba. Um, no, Mac, Dana had a couple too many Aperol spritzes. Got a little, got a little rambunctious. Uh, oh. Jersey ox, silent auction goes on. Next thing I know. I hear my name on the mic and I like look and Batchy's like, congrats, Mosey. You want a Steve Morier card of devil <laughs> jersey? And I, I was like, oh, I accidentally rose my hand and we want it for 130 quid. So I had to pay Batchy 130 quid for this jersey. Yeah, it's a good cause. I got yeah, an idea. The, I got an idea then, goes, Mosey. I got an idea. We raffle it off. What? You, we raffle it off. You get your 130 quid back. And then whatever no. on top of that, we can do something with. No, no, it gets better. It gets better, boys. So I'm like, whatever. <laughs> goes to a good cause. Goes to Batchy. I'm like, cool. It's an old Cardiff Devils, like BT Super Super League jersey. I'm like, it's kind of cool. I'm like, Dana, go get it. And I'll pay Batchy. And she's like, cool. She, she meets like a Steve Morey, a fan lady. And Dana just gives her the jersey. And like, I was like, at the end of it, I'm like, whatever. Just take the jersey. Like, you're a bigger fan than I don't even get the jersey. I'm like, what the fuck? I, I always, I always, I always heard Sheffield paid big bucks. <laughs> I guess, yeah, but I was Sheffield like, for Jesus, years, these... donating your money around. Yeah, these Aperol spritzes are really, but yeah, Batchy got Batchy, Batchy got well, Tash got the money, and I was like, all right, Tash, Jesus. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll finish off my story of the dinner. Then was we had a draft. It was lovely, and. um and then, you know, you, you'd think the boys would be tired by then. And instead, nope. no, uh, nope, the, they were not. They, they hit the brew house and uh, turn that like that, turn that dance floor upside down. <laughs> oh, that was oh, man, I, that was the Taco Bell night. Wally. You didn't yeah, go well, to- <laughs> I was so disappointed in myself the next day, Mosey, that I go all the way to Cardiff. And I didn't go three days in a row at Chippy Lane that I mixed yeah. in Taco Bell. I was like, I, once I started eating it, I'm like, I could do this anytime. What am I doing? I was just disgusted with myself. So we, we, we all, we all left brew house late and then we all randomly rendezvoused back at, at Taco Bell. And it was me, Wally and Luke Piggott. And we, uh, well, and that's the best part of, uh, of the shed guy conventions there like batchy's testimonial and mysey's testimonial is if you got luke piggott around you're never the sloppiest <laughs> yeah luke was uh what Higgs number in the draft too oh i don't even know i think wally was drafted higher than me i don't even actually know you want to know how it actually worked i don't want to i don't want to let people too far behind the scenes because um you know i might have done it differently <laughs> The draft was pre-organized. It was already drafted. Get out of here. I'm serious. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, All think, right. I think. But yeah, Pit Taco Bell was a good. Pigs was, I knew it was a good night when I, I thought Pigs was getting kicked out by the bouncer. Because <laughs> uh, the bouncer had Pigs by the shoulders. So I thought he was getting kicked out. So I went to ask the bouncer if everything's all right. But the bouncer was just holding pigs up because he kept falling into the, the people next to him ordering. So the bouncer was just had both hands on his shoulders to keep him stable to order his Taco Bell. 
So like, and people may judge us, but when, when Chad guys all get around each other and it's been years, um, fun can get away from you because you're so excited to see each other, you know? Yeah. And you get thirsty. (laughs) It's really, really exciting to go back and see all those people for a weekend. It was like as fun as life gets. (laughs) So no chippy lane night one for you. Me? Yo, first first night I was there. Yo, yeah. First night he was Chippy Lane. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. I'm a fellas guy, by the way. After my review of being there um multiple times throughout the weekend. Um, fellas, I'm a fellas guy. Okay. Yeah. What you, you, Hendo, you, and, you and Hendo were there late night, first night. Okay, <laughs> I gotta tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna tell it out? <laughs> of course gonna I'm gonna it? tell him because we were supposed to have a shed visit with his son on Sunday and he <laughs> lost his voice and couldn't talk. So I never did make it over to see the Hendos, which sucks, but they were all sick. And I wrote to him and I said today, I said, hey, do you realize that like your whole family got sick two days after you dropped your food on Chippy Lane and picked it up and mucked it up? (laughs) He he got like the the chicken stuff, like the whole thing of chicken and it flipped off the table and landed right on the ground at Chippy Lane and he picked it up with his paw and put it back in and just started shuffling down. But you, but you, and you took a, vi- you took a video on your Instagram and it was like him. And it, you said it was right before, right after you took it was when it fell. It, that was, because I had to take a video once I saw him do that. And I'm like, I got to get a memory of him eating food that had been on Chippy Lane on the floor. <laughs> oh, and sure enough, he was sick two days later. <laughs> But yeah, Mac, Chippy Lane hasn't changed. I walked through it to get to Brew House, and there's just, like, chip boxes everywhere. There's girls puking. They're barefoot walking around. I was like, oh. It's so oh. disgusting, but oh. so awesome at the same time. Yeah, it's a sight. I, I kind of want to know when the last time that laneway was, like, cleaned with, like, a street sweeper. Oh, they clean it every morning. Every morning think- they're down there. It's, yeah. it's, I couldn't believe it. That city is electric. But at the end of the night, when you when you stay on Canada time, which when I was in Cardiff, I didn't really get to experience all this because I had kids and I was in school. So um, when you come out late night, that city is an absolute disaster. There is garbage yeah. everywhere. Drunk yeah. people everywhere, people shitting themselves. It is crazy. And then the next morning you wake up and it's clean. <laughs> It's like nothing happened. I love it. It's literally like they just wiped it clean. Apparently, they have big machines. I think they're like the snow plows we have in Canada that they just push all the garbage to the one spot. Garbage. Shit. They got her down to a science, though, because that city is electric. <laughs> That's your night one. Now we go game day morning. Well, the first night was Flight Club. And the first night for me was Thursday, which was Flight Club. So what I first did when I first got there um, our flight was delayed. We sat, so <laughs> Benty and Hoth and I all fly on the same flight and, uh, Benty's got the right attitude. He gets us lounge passes at the airport, all you can eat and drink. So we had a few while we waited for a plane and then we thought we'd get on and fall asleep. I get on, fall asleep for like an hour and a half. I wake up and we're still in Toronto, haven't moved. And then we sat on the plane for two hours and they told us to get off and then we had to switch planes. But anyways, when I finally got there, I had promised I was going to see Rara and Miley shed guy and gals practice. And it was like pretty much over by the time I rolled into town. So I went straight to the rink and saw them. And because I think this is like the coolest thing that ever happened in my career. <laughs> There's a kid that wears 18 at Cardiff because of me. Bleh. And I got his jersey signed for the shed. <laughs> Put it in the rafters. I think it's so cool. Shit, guys is helping that's the future shit. so yeah that's what that's what my first night was then straight to the flight club and then we ran a muck um we went to like the brew house i think that night chippy lane the full deal and then uh yeah so then friday was the dinner where things really got carried away that was our full first day <laughs> so saturday was game day yeah. what was your morning looking like tell me when you woke up what your what your attitude was are you asking me or Mosey? <laughs> I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Um, I, I, I wasn't feeling well. It had been a very long day um, in the Bay and then at the dinner and then at the brew house dance club. <laughs> um, so I wasn't feeling well, but then Joey Martin puts out a picture. He's at peppermint right across the road, having a drink. So I went over and met him um, and uh, had one, went back, FaceTime the family and then went back and there was more people at peppermint. So we had like, one or two more and then um i then we had to get ready for the match <laughs> and went to the rink and i really uh, well i hadn't ate yet that day um the game was at seven at night i arrived at the rink at four and hadn't ate yet so slipped over to morrison's for one of the salad bars there and i got through half of it threw it in the garbage and went and ran amok <laughs> <laughs> mosey what was your game day routine yeah, I do. I was with Dana. We went, I think we went to Mermaid Key. Like, I did the opposite of what all the guys did because they went to Mermaid Key and then I went to, how's it going, Dave? And then, why can't I get into this place? I'm trying to get into my apartment right now. Hey. He's so busy, eh, Mac? He can't find time to just be sitting down during no. this. <laughs> I was willing to come on at 5 a.m. This guy's walking his dog. Couldn't do it an hour Well, before. when we were trying to figure out when we could do this because of the time <laughs> changes <laughs> there. And you, Mac, I, I respect to you. You said you'd do Sorry. it at 3.45 a.m. to work around my work. Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah, insane. Um, shed yeah, I went, I went with the dog because I had the dog and Dana. And we went to Mermaid Key, had some drinks, and then I met the boys at the rink and then had some beers and obviously watched Wally almost die on the ice or die in the locker room. I'm not, I am not a testimonial guy. I have not been invited to one yet, but uh, any UK people out there, I, I would love to attend one if you're going to have one soon. I don't know who's on the docket, but uh, Mosey, I think you did wrong. I did what? I think you did it wrong, and I think Wally did it right. I, oh, yeah, Wally did it right. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there there was a group of us there that did it right all weekend long. <laughs> like, talk about having fantastic attitudes. Like, you get a roster with Samuel Jardine, Stephen Dixon, Hoth, Benty. <laughs> like, it was – Lordo was in a great mood all weekend. You know, now he wasn't our boss. He wasn't bullying us and, put you know, telling us what to do. <laughs> bullying you guys. Yeah, you could actually come have drinks with us. Yeah, it was, uh, everybody had the right attitude and, uh, thank you, Josh batch. Like the memories you get to keep these forever, you know? And, uh, when you, you know, when you're almost 40, uh, you don't get weekends like that with the fellas that are all nope. like-minded <laughs> very often. You don't No. <laughs> Wally, we talked about your warm up. Did you get on the bike for 20 or did you just, I never late? did. I went straight into the game. Maybe that's part of the problem. I never got my 20 minute bike ride in. Uh, he, went, but... he went full belly. He went full bel belly full of Morrison salad bar right into the game. Uh, oh. Well, um, I, I mean, I thought I played well, <laughs> but I think, I think uh, Friday uh, was, was why I looked so red and tired. I think I, Maybe could have felt better, but I don't know if I could have played better. <laughs> I kept just Dean up on Wally because he wasn't really moving too much. He was just standing in front of the net. So I just kept yelling, I got Wally. <laughs> Whatever. I scored two goals. <laughs> uh, Batchy's team won. Batchy scored the game winning goal at the end with like 30 seconds left. Yeah. We like, might have let him. My team might have let him, but you know. You didn't whatever. let him. Somebody somebody was being childish and threw their stick, so he got a penalty shot. Um, so Batchy scored on a penalty shot. Imagine if he wouldn't have scored on that penalty shot with 20 seconds left to take the lead. That would have been tough. Clutch player he is. Yeah, would have been better. Very telling yeah. to bat. But in case anybody was wondering, I scored the tenth one, mucked it right in. <laughs> Pretty well shoved Wilsey right in the net for one. You know, they don't ask how, they ask how oh, many. Oh, yeah, I, know. I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay host what else you got what do you got we got i'm disappointed in the shed fans right now we got no questions i got one but it was for me so <laughs> nobody wanted to know about testimonial i guess except for me no one yeah they're like we don't care about testimonials oh uh, um i think they yeah. probably just know way too much for me talking in the shed what else are they gonna ask me <laughs> <laughs> somebody's wondering um I I figured out my own questions. One, is anyone in the doghouse, Mosey and or Wally from the wives coming back? 
no, I, <laughs> everybody was behaved. Everybody just had fun, and I don't. Everybody just did what was planned on being done. <laughs> yeah, surprise, uh, surprising man. <laughs> it was all just fun. It was all. It was like I haven't hit the town with like ten to fifteen hockey dudes at once in an afternoon in the sunshine yeah. for a very long time. <laughs> it was. It was surprisingly Mac. I don't think anybody's in the doghouse because like all the girlfriends and wives and stuff ended up coming out with all the guys after anyway. Yeah, the whole like, hockey family was there. Yeah. It was good. That's, that's, what, that's what the testimonial is about. Everybody goes to Chippy regret, Lane and eat. Any regrets for your uh, prep work coming into this one compared to last testimonials? <laughs> prep work? Yeah, on yeah, the ball. Cardio. <laughs> uh, I was planning on having more guys on before it to, like, get more hype going. But then um, I didn't have time and I I, like we had a family trip and all that. And like, I don't have time to hit the shed again the rest of this week. The kids got another hockey tournament. This is the last one finally. So um, yeah, it's been busy times, but I wish I would have got more guys on beforehand to talk about, but it's funny. Like when people used to say I'd run out of guys to talk to in the shed, like think mostly about how many people we could talk to just from this weekend. (laughs) Crazy. There's a lot. Yeah. And shout out to Samuel Jardine. That guy's an animal. You know what he did, Mac? He wasn't on the roster. He wasn't like in the program. It was, um, he had 90 minutes until the plane was leaving. And he was having so much fear of missing out that he (laughs) booked a flight and hopped on it and came. (laughs) Jards is an unbelievable guy. Uh, Mosey and I played with him. And were you there in, in Rockford, Mosey? No, I played with him in Cardiff for the first time, but you played with okay. him in Rockford. Yeah, Rockford, and then Champini was there. You played with Champ in uh, Sheffield this year. Yeah, it was us three mucking it up, being rookies in Rock Vegas, and Jards is Jards is, is a heck of a – He is. He's a dandy. I had a fantastic yeah. time with him, but I thought it was really neat that he just hopped on a plane last minute to be yeah. there. And, uh, yeah, neato <laughs> stuff. And then Steven Dixon basically did the same thing. He flew over. He made it yeah. more of a trip too, but like he flew all the way over. Like the guys that put in the effort for Batchy and like the roster of dandies he put together. <laughs> what a lineup. <laughs> that's, 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 good tea. that's been Dicko since day one of his career, I think. Yeah, he lives, man. He went to yeah. Springsteen after. He was he st- he was up late <laughs> Saturday night and he was gone Sunday to like London to a soccer game. Like the guy's an animal. <laughs> Yeah, the guy's an absolute I animal. Nico at my wedding, Mosey. You were there in the car, possibly. Um, Bobby Ryan played with Dicko in the AHL oh, yeah. farm team and found out that I was going to Cardiff and like looked up the roster. And Bobby goes, Oh my gosh, you're gonna love this Dicko guy. I was like, What are you talking? <laughs> he immediately calls like Dixon, doesn't answer, but like sends puts us in a group chat, and Dixon answers right away, like. Excited to meet you, blah, 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 blah. And Bobby was telling me stories, and he didn't disappoint that year, tell you that. Uh, <laughs> no, I was a legend. That was just the funnest part of this weekend was, like, just sitting down with, like, Dicko Jards, and, like, I've sat with them in the shed, but, like, we've never really sat down in person and, like, got to know each other. And uh, it's it was pretty neat to, like, the guys I didn't play with, and you see who Batchy had back of the guys that I was with this weekend. It's like – they are right up my alley. <laughs> but I already knew that from the shed. So are your What's type that? of guys though. My type of guys. No, Wally's type of guys. Like everybody I played with in Cardiff or met oh, yeah. in Cardiff, the Wally's type of guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Unreal. Cardiff Always- I thought, I thought on on uh on was it Saturday the testimony? I thought Saturday I lost Wally. I thought Wally was gone because like he wasn't at the club with everybody. And then Wally just came randomly walking, and he's like, "Oh, we're on the other side. We're like we're like downstairs." He's like, "It's way quieter down there." And like I'm I old. Just, I'm old. So dude, what ha- what happened club. was they had that <laughs> section in Rev to Cuba blocked off, like the VIP section for us, and it was crammed and jammed, and there was lights flashing and music was just pumping. And I don't know if you guys knew, but I was pretty exhausted after that match. <laughs> I was really struggling. And, um, and Franny and I went down to take a leak with uh, Hendo 
and it was like three flights of stairs. You got to go way down there. <laughs> and then we got down to this different area of the bar and it was quiet and you could talk to each other. And Franny and I, I were like, wow, this is like the bathroom from last year at Micey's testimonial where we all stood in the bathroom to talk. And uh, I said, watch this. Every guy that comes down to piss won't leave. <laughs> and sure enough, <laughs> within like 30 minutes, we had 12 guys standing around the table. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where everybody went, man. Everybody kept leaving, and I'm in the nightclub with all the fourteen. As soon, as, soon doom, as you had to, doom. as soon as you had to piss, there's no way you were going back to that. <laughs> Dude, I had my backpack with my skates and my gitch in it too. <laughs> um, but I got it. I got so the Devils hired a new coach. I had met him at Mizey's testimonial, but just chat very briefly with him. I am a huge, huge supporter of this fella. Um, <laughs> he really didn't have much to do with Batchy's testimonial. He's the new coach. He hasn't, re- he coached him on GB, but he wasn't really a part of the night. He was there when I got there at four in the afternoon with helping with things. He was there all the way through the game. He was the last one in the arena with all of us talking to fans and having pints. And then he came to rev to Cuba with everybody mucked it up until the bar closed. And then I hit chippy lane with them, him, Lordo, <laughs> Franny, <laughs> so that guy's a shed guy and uh really appreciate him taking the time for batchy and putting in the full shift with everybody because i think that is important to do as a coach especially a new one i i i loved it big support Wait, so you went you went two out of three nights chip lane correct or three out of four nights oh my god you savage three <laughs> you out of absolutely... four three out of four Most you have... in Frybury, eh? what's up yeah i played for pete how is like players coach or yeah huge players coach he does uh it was funny because he do like long he he can go like over systems and stuff because he loves hockey forever so like he'd go over systems and like we sometimes we'd have like video for like 45 minutes and we had an older german canadian and he'd sit in the back let's see if i can he'd sit in the back and like when pete would start like going like long tap his wrist like he'd lift his arm up and tap his wrist like time's up and like he would be like all right i'm getting rushed out of here and he just he'd end the meeting like because he'd get <laughs> nervous because <laughs> he knew that he wanted to talk too much about systems because he loves it <laughs> oh yeah and he loves it and like the the young like or the old german canadian guy was like no nope, like we're you've you've hit your limit and then Pete would be like all right well uh we'll just go over it tomorrow or something and, and like, just... uh well i'm pretty sure uh by the end of the weekend, I had coerced him into my shed. Um, he said he wasn't a podcast guy, didn't want to do it. Franny was bugging him. I was right up in his business. And you know what? He folded and he took a shed Did guy, he? confirmed <laughs> shed guy selfie. He's got what? he's got a rubber arm. He's, he's got a rubber arm like Benson. I don't have anything planned after this because like I've just been uh tre- tread water here since I've been back with catching <laughs> up with the real world and all the kids stuff. Um we're right back into the full swig. So I don't, I won't be doing anything else this week and it doesn't take long to plan. <laughs> I bring you to the next one. How is the flight home? Are you hung over? Cause those are the worst flights in human history hung over. Uh, no, I, I did not drink on the last day of there. Nothing to drink, but um, <laughs> since we had stayed on Canada time, uh, we hadn't been up until noon every day. And then we got picked up at the hotel at six 30 AM. And uh we did not talk to each other the whole way. We all slept the whole way. But uh, I do have to shout out the, my shed sponsor, um, Stars and Cars and Black Kite Courier. He Neil Parker, he was the one that set up all the rides to and from the airport for all the shed guys. Um, he picked us up personally, me, Hoth, and Benty when we got there in his Range Rover. He had beers ready for us. What a shed guy. Um, what a legend. And then uh, uh, he couldn't be there when we were heading out. So he sent this guy with like literally the most comfortable Mercedes I've ever sat in. Just like snoozed like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you went right back to Nottingham after the game or did you stay for another night? Most No, I stayed... Like, we stayed that night after the game, and then Sunday we woke up. What did we do? Did a little stuff around town, and then all the boys were kind of – everybody was kind of leaving then, and then I went back Sunday, I think. Yeah, you I left su- Sunday, yeah. And then yeah. some of us stayed till Monday. Actually, never mind. We did get together. I was I had the wrong days. Um, Sunday, we had a full day, but um, – Oh, yeah, because Dougie, Dougie came back. That's right. I was way off. We did not keep – 
a yeah. cool Sunday. We <laughs> we ran amok. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I totally I forgot. forgot about that. That was my last chippy lane. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I, yeah, that was a full day too. We just stopped earlier, went to bed at the good time and woke up refreshed, ready to head home. Um, but yeah, that was like the first day Batchy got to partake yeah, in all the relax. events during yeah. the day because he was finally done with all of it. So it was nice to get to sit down with him and relive the weekend. <laughs> How was uh, how was his testimony compared to your last one you're at as far as like organization organization and stuff like that goes? Because I knew you were part of organizing the last one a little bit. I wasn't part of it. I just built a trophy and then won it. Um, but uh, um, Batchy's was he flew more. He had more people flying in from other places. Where Mizey's was two Devils teams, old school, um, with the old owners and then with the new owners, um, and then it was a team GB and uh, Nottingham team. So he had, a, he had four teams and we played a mini tournament around Robin. And then t- two teams played the final. And I, I liked the tournament style. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, especially when we made a trophy and I won <laughs> winning's fun. Um, but that was really cool to meet a bunch of dudes. I didn't know. I got to meet a lot of the team GB guys um, and Nottingham guys that I didn't know um, where this one was all devils. Um, and it was completely devils based and Batchy's always been a devil. So it makes sense. Um, so that part was interesting that I got to do both. Um, and, uh, I don't, they all, it's like their own wedding, right? They make it their own and they were both awesome. <laughs> Any announcements, Wally? When is the tryouts for your new team? Not till the fall. Um, no, we're got this last spring tournament. Uh, this weekend, and he has his first baseball game tonight ever. <laughs> yeah, first baseball game ever. Yeah, he does his first year signing up for it, and he's playing with all his buddies yeah. from school. So, let's see how it goes. Is it like? Is it, uh, it, do they get like a it, pitching it, machine? No, they're full pitching. It's real baseball, right off oh, the hop here for him. They had done that until I don't know when they started to really pitch, but they do now. Uh, yeah, we'll need, we'll need an update. Hmm. Um, yeah, maybe, but yeah, yeah so like the... I, I'm trying to find time for the shed, but I was also like recovering from a very exhausting weekend and like doing the real world stuff. So, you know, thanks for hosting Mac. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Being a dad is hard. I'm going to find out about that in October. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the other thing was you said, uh, what was I do differently or plan from the pod for the testimonials was, uh, shout out to the shed family for our throwing the chocolate on the ice for my gals Forgot and for Batchy. Um, I got a whole pile of chocolate here, a whole bunch of them, like have written on them, Wally, to take back to your gals in Canada. And uh, there's a bunch of guys in the game that didn't know why chocolate all of a sudden got thrown on the ice. And then they're just like, all these say Wally on them. <laughs> no, I felt bad. I was going to start taking some, but then they said Wally, so I had to give them to you. So I had to like pick and choose which ones I wanted to take off the ice to eat. Cause I was starving. So I think we got enough to uh, give uh, like, you know, a handful to each gal. So thanks shed family. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome. All buenos or what was the mix? Uh, the we mix. got some twirls for the girls. We got a lot of boosts, shed boosts, yep. right? Uh, shed boosts a lot of buenos, buenos and yep. uh, white. Kit buenos. Cats. Yeah. Kit Kats. Uh, there's some new ones too that I'd never seen. Sad, sadly, no Twixes, Mac. You freaking scarred the Cardiff Devils. There's no Twixes. Yeah, I was going to oh, ask. Is, what was that, Mosey? <laughs> Has a Twix hit the ice since I've left? I don't know. Well, I got a pack here. <laughs> oh. um, one thing I never realized from doing this on this side of the pond and just watching it happen is I didn't realize how beat up the chocolate bars get hit in the ice. <laughs> yeah, they they don't they don't make it. That's why I got yelled at in Sheffield because the Kit Kat things were exploding, chocolate was going everywhere. Yeah, like some of them were <laughs> in good condition, but I tell you, the twirls and boost really got crippled. <laughs> yeah, they'll get crushed. Uh, it's more of an open up and kind of like put the chocolate dust in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, no seriously, the, some of the gifts I got this weekend, like. You know, I do the shed voluntarily. I do it because I miss my friends. And obviously I didn't do any this weekend because I didn't miss my friends because I was with them. <laughs> um, but like Thomas Murdy gave me a two ales oh, yeah. wallet from Lucky Foot Leather, right? So shout out to you. That Thank Get your you wallets, so much. Pete. Get your wallets. He's so, that guy's so talented. Yeah, man. That's a sweet wallet. But then 
Jason Coles, who's a Sheffield Steelers fan, wife's a Cardiff fan. I don't know how that works out, folks, but he gave me, they said to like celebrate me getting the coaching gig next year. They gave me a whistle and it's two ales and hockey tails on one side and it says fun is fun on the other side. <laughs> Which is unreal. Isn't That's it? so sick, man. When Jared saw it, he was like, you can never lose that ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. Yeah. So thank you, Chad family, for everything. And then, uh, Mosey, you gave me this one, the Henderson Relish. Oh, yeah. That was from um, a guy from Sheffield was telling me to get that for you. Yeah, he, he said, said we it. exchanged some text messages about eating food, and um, <laughs> he was telling me that it goes on in, like pretty well anything meat and fish and all sorts. If you would have thrown that some, if you would have thrown that on your chips too. Ooh. Oh dear. Well, I'll give her a whirl. You know, yeah. give it you a whirl. Any, burger, like gross food, like bad food, chips. Go to Mosey. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna bring Wally some White Castle Ash, cheeseburgers, but, but I forgot. <laughs> The fastest skater on the ice. Um, yeah, it you know, sometimes it's just way the body's structured how fast it goes, right? <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't have to do the fastest skater. I was wearing Dougie's gear, but my skates and I felt terrible. By the way, seeing you in person, you're way taller than I thought. Who, me? Yeah. Five wow. eleven paper. Yeah, I, I thought you were cl- I didn't think you were that much taller than me. You're like quite a bit taller than me. Yeah, I'm a big I'm a big unit, man. I'm a big unit. That's where the cheeseburgers you gotta get them in you. Corner weight now. Yeah. Mac, speaking of electric, yep. so when I used to ride the water slides when I played in Cardiff across the thing, like I thought that was the best of the best. Now they they took out the second rink and they're putting like a soft play. Do you remember like Discovery Zones when I've we were seen, kids? Yeah, I've seen the plans for it. Was it not in there when you were there? No, the soft play was never there. They they just started building it. And oh, it was it there electric. now? Yeah, it's in there now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've seen like the climbing wall type stuff that was up there. They posted something on it that that's what it was turning into. But if my that, like when I was playing in Cardiff, that would have been right in my wheelhouse if that was there because I was driving all over the city to different ones of those. If it was right in the rink, holy moly! You could Drop. leave your kid. You could have just left your kids yeah. and went in practice. Yeah, like the time I left uh, Colby with Deese at the Big Blue Tent. And Lisa was like doing something, getting ready to have a baby or something like that. She, she couldn't have him that morning. So I, we decide Deese is, Deese is going to watch Colby during practice. And literally Lorda wants me focused on practice. I look up and Colby is at the very top of the arena by himself. No Deese around. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to practice. <laughs> Well, you can get with a puck, hopefully, up there. That's a positive. Yeah, well, anyways, Deese is coming here soon. Holy moly. <laughs> Deese is. That's yeah. the Chinese men's national team equipment manager. Yeah, he's coming here for two weeks. So I guess when uh, he's here for the shed, we're going to be doing it together. He's going to be my co-pilot. <laughs> oh, man, Deese is. He's the co-pilot. He better, first- he better be behaved, I tell you, because – some of his behavior this weekend. He he needs to be behaved when he's coming here. This, you know. <laughs> Are your first in Persians shed guest? Um, I've done a couple like beside guys, but it doesn't sound as good without my headset. I'm hoping this new computer it'll sound better without my headset. But if it doesn't sound as good with these here, sorry folks, that's all you're gonna get. <laughs> sorry, we had fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, but those- he he said that there's a couple guys he wants to have on, so. Maybe while he's here, I'll let him decide because he was talking about he's good friends with like Dwight King and won two Stanley Cups. So like maybe we get some cups up in here. <laughs> yeah, we've never had a Stanley Cupper. Only uh, Derek Clancy has a he was a scout type guy that won it with the okay. yeah, but okay. not a player. No Stanley the Stanley. It'd be cool. Player coach. That's the that's the cup thing we need in the. And in the uh, actually, a confirmed shed guy is about to be in the Stanley Cup Finals. Zach Delpy used to work out with him. Um, career, like mainly HL guy, but he's been all, up all playoffs. He played nine playoff games now. Um, hasn't played the last few, but man, it'd be s- sweet if they win it, man. <laughs> what do you guys got for predictions for the final there? I just hope he wins. That's all I care. Florida. I think Florida, 100%. Six, game six, they win it. Florida in six? Yeah. Well, I, I don't care. I just want Zach to win. <laughs> I just I'll, want him to I'll go, I'll I'll go, go for it. Fun. 
Bobrovsky has been on the case. Dude, the guy's like, doesn't he, isn't he like nine and two or 10 and two or something? It's something ridiculous like that. Also, oh, and by like, the way, in the intro, you said I'm from Georgetown. I'm from Elmira. I was just born there. Well, oh. Wally, uh, the prospects um, also <laughs> said you're 85. So probably am. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't weighed myself in like two years, but I probably am. <laughs> Things haven't changed that much, Mac. <laughs> Elite prospects is just dialed in. I don't he know if lucky. you saw my body no, no. when I was a my, professional like, player. It's not that different. <laughs> yeah, he might be one night. I had joke him before I left town. We were talking uh, about you. Todd saw me this weekend. He said, he, he said, you look like you could still play. <laughs> That's what Todd said. Yeah. I don't think he's being serious. <laughs> you bullshitter, Todd. That was before he saw me go out there and skate, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before he saw you laying on the ground in between periods, <laughs> sucking wind. Oh, was <laughs> I tired. Well, Wally didn't say one word to anybody at the two Zamboni breaks. I'm not kidding. He just laid up on the ground and, and was meditating. He didn't say one word to anybody. You sent me a photo of it. Um, you thought, posted yeah, it, losing. Mosey. You posted it and said, yeah, Jen yeah, capped posted, it down. I thought, I thought we were losing him. Honestly, I was concerned. I thought we were losing him. Um, yeah. Yeah. My my wife was only, proud of me when she saw that photo. The the only doctor we had was just giving shots out. He wasn't actually doctoring at all. And I was no. like, we should probably att- we should pr- maybe attend a little bit to Wally. <laughs> I was right fine. Now. I just wanted to be left alone. And then I lay down like that with the before the game there where I needed just a quick drooler to get ready. <laughs> I laid there before the game too. And um Hendo out of nowhere, I got my eyes shut, just slaps me right in the belly as hard as he could. Man, I was upset. <laughs> I think that brings us up to the uh, last question I got. Mosey, we need to start negotiating a moose contract for you. And then I Wally, know, I... the, the wits are my dad. He's uh, He wants you out here at some point. So Is that right? I, I've i never yeah. been out that way. <laughs> yeah. It's not a I'm bad still life. waiting for my swag in the mail, you know? <laughs> he did say that last night. He came down to my spot last night. He goes, we got to get the Wally guy some hats and some gear to wear. Yeah, for sure. Um, Do you know what's pretty cool, Mosey, is you know how I'm such a big GB fan. Um, I'm pretty much on the team now. I have two uh, team-issued Team GB golf shirts and the track pants now. Brand new. uh, Richie, Richie, yeah, you got a nice coaching, new coaching. uh, I got got everything I need here. (laughs) Thanks, guys. I didn't actually think of it. I should have brought, I got the bag full of it too. I should have just brought it and given it all that. I'm, st- I'm still wearing the team Denmark shirt. I got from Thomas spelling from 2013. <laughs> hey, so these will last nice to get new two- clothes. Finally, <laughs> these will last till at least 2030. Then these, these new GB stuff. Hey, that's nice stuff, man. And I'm such a big supporter. I'm going to wear it with pride all over the place. <laughs> well, you, been, you only take world champion, uh, swag. <laughs> I pretty yeah, much okay. feel like a gold medalist now. <laughs> I went to Chippy Lane with the coach and I got swag from one of the captains. So <laughs> check out the uh, episode with Team GB royalty, folks. They won gold again. Disney movie. Yes. Right. Disney movie in the making. Mosey, what's your, uh, what are we saying here for negotiation? What's the year you're flying in here? Probably 26, 2025, 26, maybe. Who knows? It's a quick turnaround. I know. I don't know. I, I was expecting like, so many questions expecting an announcement here and you just greased me like that. Hey, didn't that team, didn't I see this season they had like an NHL player come in and like play one game for them? Yeah. And then he went back overseas. Who um, was it? Books, something book. Wasn't it? it? Was it David Booth? Yeah, it was Booth. Sorry. Yeah, I used yeah. to play against him. He was at Michigan state. And then he was one of those guys and like, in Booth college, came in for one he was like game. a third liner at Michigan State, and then uh, the next year he was like getting sixty points in the NHL. <laughs> it was like, what? yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, he's been playing, I think, in Norway for a few years. Like his wife might be from there, mm-hmm. um, and he just came just to kind of get like a workout type thing in. Played for the boys, and then on his way, and then the Florida Panthers came through here on a boys trip. Um, on their way to Vegas, they stopped in Jackson and this kind of had a, had a sweated out skate and then hit the town. Um, but I think they kind of stayed around. Um, and now they're going to the finals. So hopefully. Isn't it weird how the teams that like have fun and do stuff together like that, 
uh, end up winning. And like, winning. I find yeah. it interesting that Florida finished eighth and almost didn't make the playoffs because they're, they're built like a playoff team. They're like, it's like when you look at their roster, it's no surprise that they can beat a team like Toronto with the guys that just love to muck it up. You know, I don't think it's that weird anymore. You know, like you've only said it 87 times while we've talked in this podcast that teams that have fun are winners. It's mm-hmm. not that weird. And guys that like to muck it up. You need guys that are like old school mucker uppers. Florida right. would be a, chi- Florida would be a chippy lane team for sure. What's that? What's that? Um, that burrito truck, they, they for sure went to that place in jail. I, so that chippy lane though, like I, I don't really want to get off of that yet. Cause I was there for a hat trick. I made a hat trick appearance. Um, the Saturday night when I was there with Lordo, with Pete and uh, a couple others. And um, like, there was a fellow that had was clearly on drugs and had shot himself. And he was trying to like get in people's faces, and he would clearly <laughs> shat himself. He can't <laughs> was it, poop on him. It, was it? Was it? Was it Joey Martin? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. These this this guy was a mess. But there was there's just every walk of life down there. There's every type of person on that street. <laughs> oh, that, Chippy Lane. So you're you're. You only went to one spot all three times. No, Franny got me to go to the one that always has the big line, and I don't feel like standing lines. And he wanted no. to sh- he wanted to show me something. He was like, "You got to get this with me," you know. And it was a half donor, half chicken. But <clears throat> my first thing was I he got it in like the box where you eat it with a fork. That's not my type of thing. I wanted in a wrap. I you know want to feel safe with it. Oh, um, yeah especially after Hendo's appearance there the other night. Um, <laughs> Bear clawed it off the ground. Yeah. But um, it, maybe it was what the toll the game had taken out on me after the Friday, but I wasn't really in the mood to eat that much, and it just didn't go down that well, the mixed kebab. Um, and then the Sunday I went back to Fellas, and I felt right at home, you know? So Fellas, <laughs> you're number one. I got the lab or the donor kebab um, with a mint and tzatziki sauce. So, you know, come get I've you some. Heard, <laughs> never heard of mint chucked in there before. Oh, yeah. It's the green one. <laughs> yeah. Always minted. Garlic mayo or mint. Ooh. That's all I got for you guys. I'm disappointed Mosey didn't want to spill any beans on where he's going next year. But, well, I, I, I don't know anything, but like I did see the Devils are announced to someone today. If it's yeah, you, Mosey, and you're me. not telling us, I'm yeah. gonna cry. Chop me. you right in the throat. I don't think, if I don't you're think going I'm to the Devils go. and you didn't tell me, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> chop you right in the throat. <laughs> I don't that think it's a, me, boys. I hate to tell you. Can, can I tell a story that I heard now? <laughs> oh yeah, what is it? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell who told me because it doesn't matter. All I know is that it happened, and it makes my heart just it. It's the hockey world, folks. Um, we got chatting with the fellow there and uh, asked if I knew the coach I had had in beating who asked me to kindly leave, who um, never really gave me a chance. Didn't want me around. Um, escorted me out of the town. I thought I'd play my whole career in um, which messed me up a bit mentally at the end there and didn't have the confidence, and whatnot. Well, folks, years later, I find out <clears throat> before that season, before beating when he coached in Hanover, they had a cabina fest. Um, coaches weren't there. All the players hated the coach so much that, um, well, um, a player put his whistle in his butt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, and uh, they, because they drank so heavily and, um, and got after it at cabina fest, he bag skated them the next day. And every time he blew his whistle, the boys would start laughing. (laughs) So I don't know. I don't know if he knows this story. I don't know if, um, if he's ever been told that happened or, but, um, I guess he did look like he blowed on his ass. (laughs) That's it. Podcast over. <laughs> he, he, if Hendo got sick from eating getting his kebab up before that coach definitely got sick or pink. I, I just I mean I could have heard that about any coach in the world, but I found it very, very 
humorous <laughs> that it was it the was coach him. that I had disliked the most in my entire career. <laughs> so that's it. Podcast over. Badgy <laughs> Cash. Congratulations on the testimonial and a son. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, boys. Wally, thanks for letting me do this. Appreciate it. Mosey, thanks for joining in. And good job, uh good Mac. Cold, good cold job cold Mac. Ball here this yeah. e- this evening. And uh go moose, right? And uh go moose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, boys. And this has been another episode, right? Oh, uh, do, it, another, do it. Do it. Two ninety. This with, has been another episode of with, Two Ales and with, Tales with Wally and Mac Ruth and Shed Legend Evan Mosey. Episode two ninety. <laughs> you guys are out. Have yourself a great day. <laughs>